Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk about the topic that many of us wanted to know about the Titanic ships. This was the major incident at, during the 19th century. So today in this video we will talk about the Titanic ship, how this ship sank and all the history behind the Titanic ship. So if you are new to this channel please subscribe. So before starting this video I would like to say that the Titanic ship that time 1912 time that time it was the biggest ships ever built. So Titanic ship, the Titanic was a ship of dreams. You can, you can say that it was a dream of many people to, to sail through the Titanic ships. The Titanic got, got sleep in the bed of Atlantic Ocean in the 1912. So that time, 1912, it gets sunk in the water, in the ocean, and it gets sleep in the Atlantic Ocean bed. So it was hit by an iceberg. And because of that iceberg, the damage is so big that the compartment of the Titanic was full of water after the Titanic ship sank. So this the Titanic ship was delivered in 1912. So during the maiden voyage, the maiden voyage, the Titanic ship sank. So what is maiden voyage? Many of us wanted to know. When the ship starts first time to sailing, the newly built ship first time sails to the any country and run to the ocean, that that voyage, the first voyage we call maiden voyage. So this is same incident happened with the Titanic ship. First time the Titanic ship delivered, newly built ship delivered. The ship ship was going to going from Southampton the port in England to the New York USA. They have the first newly 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 voyage, newly built ships del delivered to the oceans and they have they're supposed to go from Southampton to New York. So during the first voyage the South, the Titanic ship was sank. Now the Titanic ship sleeps at the bottom of the Atlantic Oceans. When two ships are built together, they are termed as sister ships. So same happened with the Titanic ships. The Titanic ships together another ships named Olympic ships they are together building and delivered at the same time. So that time the Titanic was the biggest ships. Uh, the Titanic was 269 meter long. It was the day of 14th April 1912. The weather was calm, this, the visibility is very good, everything is, is clear. But the Captain Edward J. Smith's radio officer observed that there is some ice reports. They, they informed the master that there is some ice, ice reports coming in, in near about our ships. So they informed to the masters. After the radio officer informed to the master, Captain Edward J. Smith, that there is an ice report, the captain had decided to alter the course to 10 to 15 degrees to south. You can say that there are many ways, many ways of that ship can ship can pass, pass to the to, to the ocean. So they decided to alter 10 to 15 degrees towards south degree. So during that time there was no email facility, no fax, no weather fax. So because of that, that you cannot pass pass message, message to the shore. So they have to take decision by own. So the captain decided to to take the course to alter course to 10 degree to south. So on the day of 14th April, 14 April 1912, the, at midnight, eight, not midnight, it sharp, eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight p.m. The captain was on the bridge. After they take take talk, communicate with the officers. They talk very very nicely to the ship officers. After that, they retired to the bed. 8:55, the captain Edward J. Smith retired to his bed. So that was the last time he was on the bridge. The sky was clear and there was no no rough weather. So the, everybody is sleeping that time and the watch keepers are doing watch watch at that time. So we, long time back there was a, one uh, rule that crown nest on ships that they, we have crown nest. The topmost uh, the forward part of the ships have the crown nest where two watch keepers are watch keeping. So when the captain go to the sleep and officer are doing watch keeping, the two watch keepers that watch keepers are taking watch watch at the crown nest. So they observed that two watch keepers, one of them observed that they in just front of the uh, ship have eyes, the dark eyes. The, the dark eyes normally that most of the part is uh, under the water and only one third of the above the water. So one of that one of that uh, watch keepers observed that just in front of the right ahead of the ships have have eye eyes. So he suddenly he immediately report to the bridge that the, the dark dark eyes at the right ahead. After that, uh, officer officer suddenly wake up and they, they inform. So the duty officer decided to uh, that time alter course to starboard. So the duty officer alter course to starboard. After that alteration of the course, the ships ships altered uh, altered starboard and it touches the ice iceberg at the starboard bottom. So it hits the ships part hull uh, starboard side. After that, the ships get damaged and the compartment get the full of, of water. So after that slowly slowly that the five compartment get full of water after that 
so the duty officer decided to uh, that time alter course to starboard so the duty officer alter course to starboard after that alteration of the course the ship ships altered uh, altered starboard and it touches the ice iceberg at the starboard bottom so it hits the ships part hull uh, starboard side after that the ships get damaged and the compartment get the full of uh, water so after that slowly slowly that the five compartment get full of water after that the captain uh, at 11:45 night time captain edward j smith got up and he rushed to the bridge rushed to the bridge after that he rushed to the bridge he stopped the engine after he stopping engine after he communicate with his officer and and he he rushed to the down, main engine room, engine room after he reached to the engine room he see the condition he shocked he cannot imagine what what's going happening what's going to happen what's what's going around after he shocked he see the condition of the uh, engine room was full of water after the captain edward j smith analyzed that the critical the condition of the uh, engine room is very critical so he he analyzed that that the situation is very bad after that he at 1215 minutes at midnight he asked his radio officer to call for help so at 1215 the radio officer uh, uh, passed the message for the help so the condition of the engine room was full of water every engineers are busy in doing help to pumping out the waters the all the four compartments are full of water all engineers and every every of every duty officer are rushing busy they are busy they are busy, busy, busy so they all are working working after that they analyze that the critical condition the condition is so bad they cannot control so at 1215 midnight 1215 the captain edward j smith ordered the command abandon the ships so this was the time when the captain edward j smith uh, ordered the command abandon the ships so many people that time saw that that passengers are shocked that what's what's going on why abandon the ships so that that time the many crew and passengers are not not taking it seriously you can imagine that they are, they are they are not taking seriously they are just rushing in here and there so the whole whole ships was was gathered and the, the environment was completely different at 1240 that was the time when the first lifeboat was lowered in the titanic ships you can imagine that lifeboat capacity capacity was like if lifeboat capacity is 25 that only 12 people are under the lifeboat because that time many people are not many passengers are not taking seriously many of them are like husband wife and their children so they don't want to lose their husband they want together together so that that emergency situation time that only half of the passenger lifeboat capacity only lowered and the half are still on uh, empty remain empty so you can imagine how loss in that and another, another side you can say that the lifeboat uh, only half of the total crew capacity in the number of lifeboat is required as a half of the total crew crew passengers on boats so it's on another side the people said that i am not taking seriously so only half of the lifeboat was full and the other other half was remain empty and they lowered into the water at 115 after that the people are going to rush at 100 at midnight 115 the ship started trimming after the situation become so worse that many people are started jumping to the water at 145 night time that was the time when the last lifeboat was lowered and that the people start get panicking and that same time that the, the switch main engine generator failed so that the all the lights are went off that ship was completely dark so the passenger are getting more panic 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 that time the passenger has started jumping to the water that that time after that the all the lifeboat was lowered then 705 survivors passengers and crew are waiting in the lifeboats at the midnight midnight time that the weather was so cold after that they are waiting in the lifeboat 4 am that one steam ship that they are coming for rescue they arrive and they take 705 passengers and and the crew along with that so if you ask to this is this accident the, i will say that there the, the, nobody had did mistake but i can say that it was the fate of titanic because of that the titanic ship sank and the many people lost their life so you can say that it was the fate of the titanic nobody did mistake no officer did any mistake but because of unluckily unluckily that the, under the ice under the water ice the ship ship has struck and got the water inside the compartment and the ship was full of water after that the ship sank that so this was this was you can say that the it was emergency that nobody knows no no officer any mistake no any mis- misunderstanding just just it was a fate so that's all about the titanic ships Thank you very much.